direct. Uh, it's from uh, LTA Lagos. It's Sunday exclusive. And uh, well, I'm being joined now by my exclusive guest, Philip Opala, is a barrister and uh, so much more. And uh, well, he is uh, an entrepreneur into ICT, into fashion, into real estate, and into agriculture. Based uh, in Canada, is presently in Nigeria uh, you know, to, to take care of uh, one or two things. I delight to have him as a special guest. Welcome you, sir. to Sunday Exclusive. Let me first ask you, uh, do your businesses uh, uh, transcend? We know you are based in Canada, but uh, do you also have businesses located in Nigeria? Yes, interestingly, um, other than practice law, which is a major thing mm -hmm. I do in Canada, mm -hmm. I have invested in several uh, aspects of the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my investments, interestingly, are in Nigeria. Oh, here. fantastic. So I have a full service office in Lagos mm -hmm. and have another office in Anambra State. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, well, uh, I look at your bow, you know, from, uh, I mean, originating from the University of Josier, and then uh, all the way, you know, in the certification, even in uh, mediation, uh, from from the Harvard uh, University and all of that. Okay, so now you, what are the major things that you're into? The one that is closest to my heart <laughs> right now is uh, farming. Okay, fantastic. Uh, you know, we got into trouble. There has been crisis mm -hmm. in the oil sector, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which, uh, in retrospect, I'm happy that it happened because okay. now it's making everybody to think. Okay. Um, prior to the oil boom in Nigeria, agriculture was the mainstay of mm -hmm. our economy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people invested in agriculture at mm -hmm. their own different levels. Mm -hmm. uh, what I always tell people is that uh, we have to have farming as part of us. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a professional farmer to contribute yeah. to the to the you know totality of the agricultural sector. Um, I always tell people when everybody is growing a little garden, maybe a lettuce garden or or, or cabbage or mm -hmm. something. What will happen is that the price of lettuce in the market will be forced to go down because everybody is uh, producing. Yeah, when Mr. A and B yeah. now don't have to go to the local market to buy lettuce. <laughs> to, to get those little, little things. <laughs> Yeah. So that's the sector of agriculture that is closest to my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, I need people to farm to be able to feed their family. Yeah. You know, it bothers me when I see children who are nourished mm -hmm. because they are not getting enough mm -hmm. vegetables, mm -hmm. they are not getting enough nutrients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the women, they have been an integral part of our economy, they play a major role. Mm -hmm. You know, so I encourage the women, mm -hmm. both the working one mm -hmm. and the housewives, do a little garden in mm -hmm. your backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, that little wasted space in your compound inside your home, you can start a, 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 I mean, a form of farming. Mm -hmm. Grow enough vegetable to feed your family, mm -hmm. and the excess can even go to the local market. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, and uh, well, uh, so, well, the, uh, our viewers are listening. That little space at the back of your house, <laughs> Philip Wapala says, make use of it. Uh, tomatoes, whatever you can, you know, vegetables and, and all of that. Uh, but coming back uh, to hydroponic farms now, uh, uh, what exactly is going on there? W what is the layout? So like I said, you know, two years ago Nigeria went into another crisis. Okay. So metal price went through the roof, right? right. And uh, I began to make inquiries, uh, you know, my, my so part of my family still lives in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. So they'll call me that if I could uh, ship a uh, tomato paste for them. I'm like, what do you need tomato paste for? You should have the fresh one. <laughs> you know, and they told me that the price is over the roof. Yeah. And I'm like, what happened? Mm -hmm. You know, I had all kinds of stories. Then go they started the tomato paste factory, so they bought all, up all the tomato. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's an opportunity for a real businessmen to go in, mm -hmm. produce more tomato and sell it to them. But eventually I found that it wasn't the problem. Okay. There was a virus. Okay, yeah. That destroyed the crops. Yes. And, uh, you know, I've been a member of the Ontario Farmers Association for more than 10 years now, and I began to ask my colleagues, hydroponic farming, can we do it in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. They said to me, it's actually better done in the tropics than anywhere because then mm -hmm. you have abundance of sunlight. Okay, yeah. So if you're doing it in the Western world, especially in Canada, Canada where yeah, I live, you need to generate electricity mm -hmm. you know, because the plant needs sunlight for photosynthesis to take place. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria, we have more than enough of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, I got together a technical team, and we came to Nigeria, and we started our research. Okay, where, where, is, it, where is it located? Where, so where is the farm? We have, we have some farms in Lagos. Here. Okay. And the mm -hmm. state government invested huge into this. Okay. So they are building acres of greenhouses in Anambra mm -hmm. state. All right, so what, what will be the impact of the farms 
consumption pattern. We, we, you've talked about uh, tomato paste scarcity yeah. and all of that. Uh, you know, when you are fully functional, fully yeah. op operational, uh, what are the impacts we are going to see right here? So I, I'm happy that my visit coincided when Lagos State is celebrating their 50, 50 year. Okay. It's a time that we do stock taking. Mm -hmm. You know, we shouldn't be carried away with all the celebrations. Mm -hmm. We need to sit down and ponder what mm -hmm. have we done in this past 50 years? Mm -hmm. What is going to be the next Lagos in the next 20, 30, 40 or 50 years? Mm -hmm. um, right now, the population of Lagos, I'm, I'm sure, is over 15 to 18 million. Mm -hmm. In the next 50 years, that population will double. Mm -hmm. We have to figure out how to feed this population. Mm -hmm. So what I do in a commercial perspective is all bank farming. Okay. Okay? So Lagos doesn't have a lot of land. Yeah. So hydroponic farming is perfect for Lagos State. Okay. So you can see that you can comparatively, you know, if you're growing in an acre of land and I'm farming in a 500 square meter greenhouse, my yield will put your yield to shame. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, at least a hundred times more yield. Mm. You know, hydroponic farming, because of the construction of the greenhouse, mm. is a lot of investment. That's yeah. your biggest investment. Mm -hmm. You know, people always ask me, when do I break even? So my analysis is this. So, you know, in a typical greenhouse, 500 square meters, uh, because we do vertical hydroponics, so we don't waste the space that we have. Yeah. So we layer our PVC mm -hmm. pipe construction mm -hmm. so that in a 500 square meters, you can get up to 10,000 growing Fantastic. Homes. So if you are if you're specializing in say lettuce, mm. so that means each time you harvest, mm. you harvest ten thousand heads of lettuce. Yeah. Now I've checked around a typical head of lettuce. By the way, the ones I saw are one out there. Not right. <laughs> they go for between five hundred naira to one thousand, mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. where you get that. Mm -hmm. So. Being the producer, being the commercial producer, I don't expect you to sell it 500 naira. Mm -hmm. So let's calculate that you will sell it at 100. So each time you harvest, 100 times 10,000 eggs. So basically, Nigerians will be the beneficiary uh, for this technology. Yes. And uh, well, uh, it's uh, taking, you're starting it now. We know how it works in this country. Many people will look at what you are doing. They, they will be impressed. They will be interested. They will join you. Yeah. And more people that join, and now the nation is the beneficiary. That's right. Fantastic. Uh, Sunday exclusive for uh, this uh, beautiful Sunday evening. My exclusive girl, uh, Philip Opala, uh, a barrister, but uh, making waves in other areas, especially in uh, agriculture. It's food that we need in Nigeria. We take a break, and then we come back to run it up with him. We'll be right back. We've just made importing and exporting of goods from the UK to Nigeria and other parts of the world as easy as ABC. Offering a no excuse policy, we have a next day delivery to Lagos, Abuja and Port Accord on our courier services and 3 to 5 working days on our door to door cargo services. We offer express 3 to 4 day courier services to various destinations in Nigeria and simply deliver smiles worldwide. So, who are we? Rousey International. Choose us for a door to door service, customs clearance, and worldwide sea and F rates. With offices across the continent, you can be assured that there will be no waiting game and no stories. Give us a ring today or visit our website. Do away with the stress. Let Rousey International handle it. Go on. to have you here you, uh, and uh, Philip we appreciate as we continue to bring back all of the things uh, that you are picking up in the diaspora to help your fatherland and you started here <laughs> and so you must continue to look back as you are doing and uh, well congratulations and we'll keep tab and see what is happening and maybe we'll bring our cameras to see your greenhouse oh, <laughs> and see exactly what's happening there mm -hmm. and share that with so many of our guests. Many Thank thanks you, for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fantastic. All right, well, uh, that has been our agenda this uh, evening. And, uh, well, uh, we told you that you can, uh, if you want to find out 
how to be part of this beautiful experience, uh, you can call 0909-222-2014, 0909-222-2014, or you visit the office uh, 11B Adiola Odeku, and uh, well, uh, they can cancel you, they can tell you what to do, free of charge, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure Philip will like so many people to be part of it, because he wants food to be everywhere. I'm coming at Bullish today, have a fantastic week ahead, bye bye. Thank you.